Hi guys, in this video we will see how to make a very convenient single charger for 18650 cells so that you don't always have to arrange homemade tools like magnets or things like that to hook into the two poles but use this cute 3D printed design that allows us to charge our cells with a very simple micro USB cables through a model with the integrated TP4065 inside. But now, as always, get comfortable and let's see what we need to build it. First of all, a 3D printed piece, so you need a 3D printer. Then 20 centimeters of electrical wires that can carry a minimum of one amp. And then a model with the IC TP. 4065. First step is 3D printing the piece. As you may have noticed from the thumbnail, to build this tool you need to use a 3D printer. Of course you can arrange other solutions without the 3D printer, but if you have one it's much better. You can download the piece that you will have to print from the files or from these links. That takes you to the Thingware site where the user YXC has published the piece. The design is really well done. It prints in one piece and it perfectly fits the TP4065 modules and the 18650 cells so let's move on the second step is add the battery contacts when the piece is printed all you have to do is strip a copper wire of about three centimeters and insert it into the holes that are present in the 3d printed piece the stripped part of the wire will be the contacts that will touch the battery poles once secured with a little bit of glue once the wires have reached the part where the modules is going to be fixed you can move on to the electrical connections there are only two electrical connections to make, namely battery positive and battery negative. The model with the TP4065 IC inside also offers the possibility of protecting the battery by passing the load through another IC inside the model that protects the cell, but for this project we will only need the charging function. So you just need to connect the positive to pin B plus and the negative to the pin B minus by soldering the wires to the boards and it's finished. Well, now you just have to glue the model in place and start your first charge thus ending the creation of a great tool that will allow you to individually charge the 18650 cells without arranging mysterious tools to do the same job. 